Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, good evening. <laughs> wow. Woo! Here we go. Uh, back again. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be back. Thanks to uh, Peggy and friends for inviting us back. It's really great to see you all again. <laughs> Saying, I think I can see there. Oh, <laughs> well, we <yeah>. ate. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, okay. Well, there's a big moon. There's a big moon up in the sky tonight. It's a full moon. So we thought we'd st start with an old Neil Young song called Harvest Moon. Just like children sleeping, we could dream this night away. There's a full moon rising, let's go dancing in the light. Sell it 
on the second one, I guess. Yeah. Okay, this is, uh, this is an old folk song, but it was a big hit for the Beach Boys in the 60s. I always remember it playing in the cafes. It's called Sloop John B.
<laughs> I've got to open the page. <laughs> Anyway, you did well there. Mm. Um, all right, okay. All oh, right. Okay. Well. <laughs> this next song is by the Beatles. Um, I first got in, first got into the Beatles after seeing a hard days and nights in the cinema in Stornoway. And uh, I always remember we used to go on Saturday afternoons <coughs> to the, uh, we, get, we used to get a matinee there. And anyway, a hard day's night came to Stornoway and uh, oh my God, it was just fantastic. When we came out of there, we were wanting to start a band. And uh, we did, uh, a friend of mine, Morris McLeod, uh, we started a, a little band together with Gordon Fraser on drums. That was the first band we had. And Morris already had a Beatle haircut, so he was halfway there. But anyway, uh, reminds me of that time. And this Beatles song is called The Two of Us. <laughs> you got the prank. Did the same thing again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, folks. We'll start that one again. One, two, three, four.
and see a few of the comments coming through. Sorry while we're doing it, but um, thanks everyone. It sounds great. It looks like there was somebody from Brazil there. So hello, <laughs> over in Brazil. Hi, no, mate. Ah, it's mate, David. David. This song off my first album. Uh, it's called Harvest Time, and um, it's inspired by a magical part of my childhood spent in, in Croft in Shatter Point, and um, you know, vivid, fantastic memories of uh, such a, a lovely community in Shatter. You know, and um, in fact, I've got cousins there, Johnny McMillan. Angus and David and um, Donald Taylor who lived across the road and oh, there was uh, lots of characters in the village and uh, I have a, a very fond memories of it and inspired me to, to write a song about it. It's called, it was just all the way, the way we shared uh, uh, so many things like um, taking the peats home and um, you know, working with the sheep and, um, you know, uh, mm. anything to do on the croft. There always seemed to be many hands around and it, it all seemed quite sort of good, a lot of goodwill and a great memory of community life. And uh, in a way, this is called Harvest Time. There's no demand for the cloth he's woven all these days behind. And the young men are leaving their home to find work there to be done. There's no footprints on the side. For as a child I held my father's hand All the stories that were told Are woven through my memory In threads of gold Like the songs we learn to sing The mermaid and the silky The wild The river runs so deep in the night. I know I will not sleep. 
Floating like driftwood on the tide Carry it all inside Now I walk the streets of Canada London and America But wherever I roam There's always an island Calling me our hearts and pledge our minds sing those songs of harvest Thank you. Okay. So now we're going to be doing a song by John Denver um, called Annie's Song. Uh, we're going to give it a go. It's a great song. Uh, I love the recording of it. And um, yeah, it's from Colorado, and we had some, a friend over in Colorado. From Gigi, so I think she might be watching, or she's definitely going to be catching Gigi. up when uh, in the morning. But um, yeah, this one's called Annie's song. my senses like a night in a forest like the mountains in springtime walk in the rain a storm in the desert a sleepy
Yeah, very thirsty work. It's just swelling. What am I drinking? <laughs> okay, here we go. So, what are we on next? Yeah, I love this one actually. Look at the thing. Oh God! You see my scaffold thing. called uh, Song for Ireland. Yes, it's called Song. This uh, picked this song up from visiting Southern Ireland a few years ago and uh, it's absolutely like going home to Lewis. It was so welcoming and um, everywhere I went I felt it's like being at home. It was so it was so familiar to me, the whole experience, the land and the, and the people. And uh, I was down in County Clare, and uh, it was just um, mesmerising the way I, uh, how how uh, connected I felt. And uh, I, I found this song that um, many people have recorded, but uh, the people that wrote it, um, what was his name? I think it was. Uh, I don't think I've got it on there. I don't know. Oh, sure. Bill and June. Paul Clark, and they had the same experience over there, and that's how they wrote the song, song for Ireland. Uh, they they were just mesmerised by its beauty, and um, anyway, I'll give it a go. Sunset. 
sets us Try and adjust it up a little bit here, but it um, looks pretty good on the computer. But um, I, I just thought I'd turn. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Obviously. Uh, okay. Brilliant. Okay. There's We're lots of other messages. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about the volume. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the volume. Apparently, there's volume problems or something. But we've got. We're getting good. Hello, signal. everybody. <laughs> Hello to all. Hello. One Hello one from Sheena Bobax. Why don't you come and say hello? Hello oh. from Sheena Bobax. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so can this next one is no, called. I'm not going to come in and say hello. <laughs> no, 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 come on. Oh, I don't. Are you, I'm scared just, I'm going to trip uh, over all the why cases. Don't, uh, why don't you sit and it, say hello for a minute to you? Uh, you might never get me it, 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 Oh my goodness, all my wonderful friends and family. I'm so homesick, <laughs> I'm telling you, but um, I hope it's going well. We've been told the volume's too low. Oh, don't worry. We're, we'll we're doing all we can. We're doing all we can. <laughs> Lots of love. <laughs> hey, Mum. <laughs> you all right? I'm scared I'm yeah. going to trip over all the <laughs> cables and equipment. <laughs> there we go. You okay? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, oh. here we are. That was lovely, by the way, Dad. We've really taken the that. volume. I think to adjust the volume, hopefully, Andy. Uh, yeah, put it up a little bit. Volume. The marriage song is set up. Let's be fine. See, that's the volume there, Dad. Like see, that, the, see that yeah. green... Um, oh, the, right. Okay, well, you're getting yourself together. Yeah. This, is a, this is a song that I, that I wrote a few few years back. I can't see. And... Um, Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah basically, uh, it was a time of, of when I was searching for a lot of different things and not actually finding any, not being very successful at doing it. But anyway, I was reading a lot of different books and stuff like that, and I ended up attending these um, non-duality, it's called meetings, they're sort of philosophy type thing. And there was a guy there who, who was holding the meetings called Tony Parsons, and uh, he really somehow cleared the, uh, the fog and the mist and uh, revealed a really simple and uh, beautiful message, which is very dear to me. Um, and that same message is found in so many different uh, places, uh, but it's also found in um, the poetry of Rumi and uh, Hafiz. And um, they had this term, the friend, to kind of express the, the inexpressible and the unconditional love. And, and, and that really, um, yeah, I, I really relate to that. So this one's called Space. Are you right then? Yep, I'm ready. Glasses on and ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so 
Sure, I think that's probably why this is low. Closer to the mic? Yeah, just a little bit closer. I've just come around maybe. Just a little bit closer. Um, the thing is, somehow we've got this camera angle that gets. That's probably. No, it's you out. <laughs> and then it's hard to get in. Uh, maybe we should ask people over here in a bit. Uh, okay. Oh, look at where we're at. Oh, we're here already. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> just Gonna get tuned up a little bit. Not too bad. Do you want to tell a story while we're tuning? I, I, I can't. I need to tune. <laughs> um. So. Oh yes, yes I know. Well, this is a song by Simon and Garfunkel, and we're playing this especially for. Uh, this amazing lady that lives at Seven Park End, Stornoway, Granny Bell. Um, hey, Granny. <laughs> she's uh, doing amazingly, uh, you know, in her 90s now, and she's just going strong. She's more coherent than me, I'm telling you. It's fantastic. And uh, we know she likes Simon and Garfunkel, so we, we decided to do this song for her. Oh, hang on. Need to drink the water for this. Let's just make sure, yeah. We, oh, <laughs> the lyrics. You've got the lyrics out. I've got the lyrics. I'm getting better as the night goes on. Must be the God. water. <laughs> mm. <laughs> See, that's the trouble with oh, we're getting old. Your memory gets better for the some things as you get older and worse for others. I can't remember what did five minutes ago, but. I can remember the pa way back really easily and it's really <laughs> it's quite <Yeah>. strange. <laughs> okay. Does anybody else get that kind of problem? <laughs> <laughs> Please. 
songwriters yeah um, look at all these hearts waving at us oh, hello <laughs> um, okay I have to say Ooh. these Kayleys have been such a, a help to us all and I really admire everybody that's uh, come and done them and uh, how Callum and Willie Campbell and Costello have kept things afloat for so many people and uh, I really, Callum Martin and, and um, I really uh, hats off to them uh, and I've, I've loved all the work and all, all the other people that have uh, taken part and it's a great thing, it really is in these times, these strange, strange times we're living in and uh, I've just heard that, I don't know if it's true but I've just heard that Stornoway's going into tier four, or Lewis is, and I'm really sorry to hear that, but um, you look, if we all keep singing together and keep looking out for one another, we'll all come through this, I'm sure we will. Yeah, to get to. This is a song off my last album, uh, The Healing Waves. It's called Precious Love.
stay here all night Till morning light comes streaming in And high in the two trees hear the sweet melodies The songbirds sing In the passing hours The strength of each flower opens up to the sun the shadows are gone that held us so long in the dark because you're here with me there's nothing that cannot be there's nowhere I'd rather be than right here with you you touch me <laughs> what are we on here? We're going to song on. It's a song on about the girl, your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, no, no, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is um. We're gonna. This next one is um. Oh, good. Jesus. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, this God. next one is a song by Mike Scott. Well, by the Water Boys. Um, it's taken from an album called Fisherman's Blues. And um, yeah, when, when, when I was growing up, we had an apartment in, uh, in Bromley and uh, Room to Roam and um, Fisherman's Blues were played a lot. And uh, <laughs> we had great times singing the songs and probably drinking, something like that. <laughs> but yeah, this one's a quite a funny song. I'd actually quite like to, it's called Bang on the Ear. <laughs> and um, I have got no idea what he means by Bang on the Ear. I've got no idea. <laughs> but anyway, I think I kind of do, actually. It's probably just all is well, all is forgiven. Um, but anyway, we, we're going to give it a go. It's, uh, sing along if you, if you know it. Um, we're going to try oh, and do yeah. it. Let's bring this round here a bit. So, uh, let's see if we can get through it. It's, um, it's a fair amount of verses, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> you all right? Yep. So you remember, it's the short... The short oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. was my first love, she was in my class. I would have loved to take her out, but I was too shy to ask. The fullness of my feelings were never made clear. But I sent her my love with a bang on me. Here we go. Nora was my girl when I first was in the crew. I can still see her till this day, stirring chicken soup.
Fantastic yeah. songwriter, Mike Scott. Thanks, Scott. Mike Scott. And if you are watching Mike Scott, what the hell did bang on the end of <laughs> Pretty sure you're not a wife beater. <laughs> oh, well. Um, oh. God, what? Are we here already? Is it... What do we now? Oh, this? Yeah. Okay, so a bit of drum. No, let the beat. Is it? Yeah, I'm gonna do a bit of drum on this one. Wow. Well, this. Oh, this is. Um. This is a request from Nan Nan Smith and Roddy. Just. Oh, um, can we yeah? bring this in a little bit so I can move? Yeah. Can you? Um, they, they requested a song from what we used to play in San Recall in the Mule days, and um, I went. I tried to remember what. Be a nice song uh, from the set we did, <laughs> but um, I came up with Let It Be. It's for you, Nan, and Roddy. And thanks for your lovely message you sent us, which is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Um, okay, I tell you, can't get it. That bang on the ear that's done it. Huh? It's a bang on the ear that's done it. Oh, no. It's gold. Let it be. 
there is still a chance that they will see there will be an answer let it be 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 there will be an answer let it be let it be let it be trying but there's not enough room I think there's something's changed in the way we say it I, mean, I don't know what but I can't get in no, just people are seeing I know I can't I can't do anything because I oh, couldn't God. be closer to, to the to Steve oh, I can tell you what what about if this goes back a bit is that better that goes I yeah. just thought I'd give you the feedback yeah thank no you, thanks thank you, thank you really appreciate it. so can, where are we yeah so, could somebody so. tell us that that's better I'm just going to put a log <laughs> on the fire well <laughs> Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. you could see Lucian eyes. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool, yeah. Okay. Well, is that, can they can they see me now? Can you see me now? No. <laughs> 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 That's on the bed from next door. I'm not allowed to do the room because I'm triple going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how it ended up so forward, but yeah, there it is. Oh, well. Oh, you get it right yeah. towards the end of the night. Huh? got it right towards, towards the end, end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, it's a wee story to tell. Have you got the words for this? Uh, yeah, the <laughs> new <laughs> Okay, I'll see you later. See you later. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> where are we at? Um, so, yeah. Okay, uh, we'll write this. This song's called Louisian Eyes, and I, I wrote this song fairly recently um, when Sheena got out of hospital and um, we were t I was taking her out to the park every day to practice walking and um, I made it and um, this day we came across a cluster of rocks and Sheena said um, that rock looks familiar that, that one particular rock in amongst all these cluster of big rocks you know and it was like almost like uh, some arrangement, like they'd been put in a certain arrangement, but something. And um, anyway, as we got closer to the rock, I thought, yeah, it does look familiar. And then I went round the back of the rock, and there was this plaque on it, and it said, this is a piece of Louisian eyes, which was uh, donated to the park, or to, uh, to Bromley, really, or to Orpington, you know, to commemorate the millennium. And it was a piece of from the Western Arts. So this blew us away completely. And um, people were giving us funny looks because we were <laughs> <laughs> hugging rocks. Hugging, hugging rocks, you know. <laughs> and it was a piece this, of... This, <laughs> this ain't just any rock, okay? <laughs> yes, it is. It's quite a mystical <laughs> song. So we sort of thought we'd bring in a bit of... I hope I remember it now. Mm -hmm. I hope I can remember it now. <laughs> 
Street like film or Louis in Eyes Rock? From the cats in the... Okay. <laughs> Something about you I felt I recognized As I gazed upon you metamorphic light And read the writing on the plan Written on the contours of your back Celebration of Placed in Highlands Country Park, where the moon shines on your face in the dark. Who is your Gentlemen, please. <laughs> but no, that's not. We're not there yet. No. Um, okay. Almost. How are we? We're doing one hour, seventeen minutes in. Oh boy. Um. Okay. Oh. We've got a strong fire burning now. But uh. Ooh. The 
This is a song requested by Ra Ross Munro. And thank you, Ross. I love your, your the songs that you um, ask me to do. Um, okay, it's by Jackson Brown, and it's uh, called What a Dancer. Can you come round to you? Yeah. Just facing the mic a bit more so they get a great view of you. Can you see that good? Yeah. Is that good? Yeah. I need this Just one. Uh, okay. Just see you facing the mic. Thank more. you. Keep a fire burning in your eyes Pay attention to the open sky You never know what will be coming down I don't remember losing track of you You're always dancing in and out of view I must have thought that you'd always be around Always keeping things real I play in the clown Now you're nowhere to be found I don't know what happens when people die Can't seem to grasp it as hard as I try It's like a song I can hear playing right in my ear That I can't sing, but I can't help listening I can't help feeling stupid standing around Crying as the Cause I know that you'd rather we were dancing Dancing our sorrow away Right on dancing There's nothing you can do about it anyway Just do the steps that you
something about his glasses. Yeah. Well. Off. I tried to put this up, but yeah. I thought it might stop them, but it's probably better just to put it back down. Yeah. All oh, right. Ah. Um, thank you, Ross, for requesting that. Um, gee. Do you think, yeah. what about, well, we're close, we're an hour and 23 in. Do you think it maybe, what about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we've got two more. Okay, okay so we've got two more songs left, and um, one of them is one that we did last week. Last week? Oh, yeah, sorry, God, Jesus, yeah, I'm losing my brain scrambling. Um, not last week. Uh, Lock, lockdown. The last <laughs> week, <laughs> exactly, lockdown fever. Um, no, it's, it's called oh, Ripple. Oh, 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 oh. And um, got the words. So if you're not going to work, I've got the words here. Uh, well, I'll, can we bring this yeah, round to you yeah, and then we can both see it? Yeah, yeah. It's probably better anyway. Yeah, that is better. Um, it's a learning curve, all of this. Yeah, it's all a learning curve. <laughs> God. But I never seem not to Not like learn. Callum. Callum's an old hand at it. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah but this is the song The Grateful Dead. The, but I just love it so much. And my dad tells me stories about the 60s all the time. And I just think, God. You want to start? Apparently, <laughs> apparently Jerry Garcia would do 20 minute guitar solos and then they would say play it. <laughs> play it again, Jerry. <laughs> anyway, we'd like to see more bands like the Grateful Dead around. I think that anyway, would be amazing. Um, I heard a little bird told me that, Marianne told me that, that's her, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. her partner <laughs> <laughs> requested it again. And hello to Chris Ann in, in, in Turkey. Uh, all the best to you, darling. Um, 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 um. Right, so it's Capo second. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, can I first we, we had an this? argument about which, <laughs> where the Capo went, and my, I bet my dad a hundred pounds it was on the second fret, and he was convinced in the first he bet me a hundred pounds, and now he says that he's making excuses <laughs> not to pay me. I want to make this official. This <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, it's public. <laughs> it's public. Okay, here we go. If my words did blow with the gold of sun. And my tunes were played on the harp on the strong. Would you hear my voice come through the music? Would you hold it near as it were your own? It's hand me down.
Nice. One more for one more. Woo, cup, 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 okay. Okay. This final request is from the boss, <laughs> not Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> Sheena Bobas. Sheena. <laughs> <laughs> this was uh, requested by Sheena. It's a Leonard Cohen song from the album, the brilliant album, The Future. And uh, the, fu the album, The Future, is almost prophetic anyway because uh, everything that's happening now, Leonard was, was writing about. And uh, this song is called The Anthem. And we're going to finish with this. Uh, it's been wonderful to sing for you again. Great and, uh, singing for you guys. I uh, hope you all... Stay safe in these times. The birds they sang at the break of day start again. I heard them say. passed away or what is yet to be Other wars they will be fought again the holy dove she will be caught again fought and sold While the killers in high places say their prayers out loud, they summoned up, summoned up a thundercloud. They're gonna hear from me. Ring the bells that still.
won't add up the parts You won't get the song Strike up the march There is no drum Every heart Every heart to love will come Like a refugee That's how the light gets in That's how the light gets in That's how Thank you all, thank you very much Thanks to Thanks everyone for tuning in, watching. Um, yeah. See you next time, all right? God bless you all. Lots God of love. bless you all, dear friends. Stay safe. Bye bye.